Ladies and gentlemen, the time is five minutes to nine. And I present to you, Scapa Flow. There we have the entrance. That's the right side of the entrance. Uh, we actually do have a land-based battery over there. Uh, and then we have the left side somewhere over here. So our heading is now about 304. And then we are looking pretty good as of right now. Gonna start reducing this speed now, not to make too much... You see, we're really stirring up the sea behind us, and that makes the submarine easier to see, or e easier to spot. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, order up slow speed. And as we get a little bit closer, I'm gonna go ahead and again order Dexa Wash. I wonder if those are manned. I wonder if these are actually... If there are guards in there, I don't know. <clears throat> well, now is when the exciting starts. Excitement starts. Keep, keep you posted. currently at periscope depth um, all of a sudden um, a light shined upon our, uh, I, I don't know if it's random or if they saw us but all of a sudden I did see a light that started scanning and I just went to periscope that there you can see the light right there I don't want to really put my periscope any further up mm. if it's random um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this heading right here uh, for a little while longer and then we'll pop the per periscope back up and see if there's been any changes in a little while Ooh, this is getting exciting Ooh, I haven't done this mission since 2014 I think um, and I have never ever done this mission with everything on 100% uh, re realism and using um, uh, real navigation. So it's gonna be exciting as shit to see if we can actually slip through. But we need to make sure that we're not spotted and that our submarine is not being attacked. Um, yeah. Well, let's keep trucking. I'm gonna just uh, uh, sail slow and let time uh, go by. Okay, so my plans right now. Oh, we just passed, uh, he's still scanning to see. I, d I don't think he can see us. We're going super, super, super slow. Uh, I think he's just... See, now he's not even looking at us anymore. Uh, my plan, do you see this lantern right here? Uh, there's another one right there. I'm thinking... As we pass this lantern right here now, um, I will try to go direct to the other one right over there. Okay, now he's looking at us again. 
Mm. Yeah, I will try to follow the lanterns as good as I can. Because I'm gonna show you guys something. Alright, where is he looking now? Yeah, he's just doing a regular search pattern on the water. Alright, don't look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us. Yeah, I remember the last time I was here back in 2014. I, I, I kind of find it funny that this is still bugged. These are supposed to be U-boat nets, and they're just sticking out of the water. Uh, another problem is these bad boys right here. Those are mines. So we need to be really careful. Really, really careful. Um... I'm not really sure how to attack this. But let's try to make... Let's try to make a run for it between those two right there. First of all, okay. So that is bearing uh, three degrees to the left. So let's go heading... Two seven eight. Mm. Oh, the excitement! Oh, all right. So that's the lantern right there. All right, let's keep trucking. All right, so it's. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. We just actually slipped through th Oh, god damn, that is too close to com for comfort. <laughs> we just, uh, I don't think that guy is able to see us anymore. Uh, you see, searchlight is not able to reach our uh, submarine anymore. Um... Dude, I am super, super curious here. I'm, I'm, number one, I'm afraid to run on, I hit the mines. Uh, let's go four degrees to the left, or, yeah, something like that. Number one, I'm afraid to hit these mines, and number two, I'm afraid to hit the bottom of the ocean. So, let's, let's uh, ask how deep it is. Get the other kill, please. Okay, that's actually more than I thought. We got 14. Holy shit, man. 14 meters under the keel. I wondered as we sail a little bit more if I should go Dexa Wash. Oh my god, this is a tiny, tiny gap. So we are passing through... We are now passing um, through the minefield. I am quite positive... We can go Dexa Wash. Oh. Problem is, we need to do the same maneuver on our way out, and on our way out... We probably gonna have to haul ass because we are probably being chased by DDs by then. Hopefully not, but mm. 
All right, so you can see that there, there are actually ships that has been sunk as a barrier on the east approach. So we need to be careful. All right, let's go Dexter Wash. Dexter Wash place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hatch, please. There you go. Yes. He is not able to see us. Very good. Very, very good. So this makes life a little bit easier for us. Mm. Just keep trucking. Uh, by the way, funny story. Um, when they did this scuffle floor raid in the real life, there was actually a car uh, that passed um, on the shore, not, not too far away from the submarine, and the headlights of the car actually shined right on the sub. Of course, the guys thought that they're uh, they were gonna get reported and that they weren't gonna be shot out of the water, but no. Car just kept uh, driving by and never reported them to anybody. So it's dude, one of those strange things. Strange, strange things. All right, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Let's keep going. Alright, so we're actually about to slip through the last uh, chunks of mines. And we have actually successfully entered Scapa Flow, dude. Absolutely crazy. I just got a report from my crew uh, that. Um, oh, where's the message? Group of unidentified units in sight. Contact report is ready. Uh, so we can go ahead and... We can go ahead and send a contact report. So orders to radio operator, send contact report. There you go, buddy. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Oh, I fell down. Alright. Yeah, dude, we're actually slipping through. We're actually slipping through. Alright, let's go ahead and... I do believe we have to cross that little... Uh, thing right there. And we should be... If you look at the map... Yeah, we're right there. So, we just should slip through right there, and we're gonna make a right turn. And we should see some... Uh, some beautiful ships. <laughs> Sitting there, sleeping. Ah, oh, beautiful. Alright, so my crew is reporting a lot of new ships in sight. Uh, we don't really have to stay that's a watch anymore. I'm afraid I get detected by destroyer, so let's try to play it safe. Uh, let's do this and let's order ourselves a periscope that place. And let's get down and get the old uh, periscope up and see what we got. I'm gonna actually use the periscope at our control room because supposedly this one lets in more light than the attack periscope not really sure not really sure though 
Periscope coming. No, it's not. Place! There you go. Somebody shining a light? Oh, God damn it. So, we were at Dex Awash and they did not spot us. But when the periscope comes up, they spot us. Is it an act of randomness? Or is it a game bug? Alright, we're about 12 meters. And we're very, very slow speed. What can you hear, my sir? Dude, that sounds like a ship that is moving very fast. Okay. There is some ship traffic. Going up, going on up north. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We are right there. So, all of the noise that we heard. Basically happens. Let's see, 30 degrees right there. Basically, in this area is where we picked up sounds from. Nothing over there. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, I'm gonna use my attack periscope. Let's call the men to, um,. Let's call the men to uh, battle stations. Battle station place. Uh, battle station. So these DDs are on our left side. God damn it, we were so lucky. We were so incredibly lucky not to get detected by those DDs while we were Dexter Wash. Cause I, I was not even looking to my left. Holy shit, dude. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are in. We are in and we are in position. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a quick s uh, see what we got here. So we got one battleship right there. One there. I do believe that has got to be a freighter. And if we keep panning further to the left, I do believe that is probably a DD, a destroyer. Uh, sitting with the boilers hot. Oh, we got a freighter. Alright, so we're currently looking straight to our left. That's e nothing. I see nothing more. Let's see. Yeah, those are the DDs. Yeah. Alright, we're currently at two knots. Alright, let's set up this attack. Can you go ahead and do this? 
range 3843 speed is of course zero knots angle and bow really does not matter because he's stationary but I know that he sees us at his 90 degrees ish uh, okay so I'm afraid the game is gonna crash now because every time or it happens very often when I open up these torpedo hatches the game is gonna crash <laughs> Thank you. All right, torpedo number one. Uh, let's make these slow. I'm gonna make the first one mag magnetic, and I'm, and I'm gonna actually set the depth to. Nine point four meters. 9.3 meters on the first one. Okay, torpedo number two. Let's set that to about six, yeah, six and a half meter. It's gonna be a slow torpedo. That's gonna be an impact. We're about ready to go. All right, let's. Uh... Are we ready? The time is 23.33. We're about ready to fire our first torpedo. Let's go ahead and place them midships right there. Three, two, well, actually, one more range. About mass height, yeah, 3,500, okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, let's disconnect and connect. Okay, this guy is uh, 180 degrees. Yeah, that's about good. Speed zero knots. Charts. Dude, I don't really need range. These are all stationary targets. This is gonna be a fast torpedo. 9.1 meters depth magnetic loss to five fast impact five meters all right torpedoes are on their way now all we can do is wait Yeah. Dud. The first one was a dud. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a dud. Wow. Is time up? Oh! All right, number two hit, and that actually looks like a pretty goddamn good hit too. And now you. I was just waiting for you, man. Okay, so we got one hit on him. Torpedo Mene are actually loading up the second torpedo as we speak. So, we might actually get another chance. Torpedo missed? No? What did you say? Did he say torpedo missed? No. <sighs> Alright, I think we actually had... Uh, we have had three duds. Let's go ahead and check. No, torpedo missed? Come on! Can't be missed! That's a stationary target! That's a stationary target, buddy! Oh. Well. 
Let's just wait until these torpedoes are reloaded. All right. So we have three torpedo tubes loaded. And I do believe I know why we uh, missed our shot. Uh, right before I started up the recording, I did uh, another measurement on the ship. And <laughs> uh, we never really identified this ship. So we're going to use our trusty little helper. And we're going to go ahead and identify this ship. Royal Sovereign Battleships. Battleship. So now we have the mast height, at least in our TDC. And we can do... Let's see, where is he? Right there. Yeah, range 2157, speed zero, angle on bow. So, number one. Depth of 8.9, that's the exact draft of that ship. Magnetic. I wonder if we we'll want to try fast. Yeah, let's go fast. Let's go ahead and just... Okay, so... Let's go ahead and send one right underneath the smokestack. Royer Eins Los Number two Right Right there at the five mark Impact Roar two Los There they go Alright we should have impact in about fifteen seconds If our this calculation is correct, there you go. One and two. There you go. Perfect. Good hits. Good hit. I wonder if that was one. Yeah, there goes number two. Perfect. 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 Thank you so much. All right. All right, so I just launched torpedoes for that little DD over there now. About three minutes ago, and we should be getting the impact here pretty soon. I, there you go, buddy. And he goes down. He goes down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Easy there, fella. <laughs> yeah, so I did, um, I did aim for his number two, um smokestack and holy shit did that hurt <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> easy there fella all right let's start think about uh, thinking about getting out of here <clears throat> yeah so I have some good and some bad news as I was supposed to as I was uh, leaving Scapa flow what do you think happened the game crashed. Yay. So... I guess that means we get another shot on this guy. Uh, too bad. We, we already did sink this guy, but... Uh, we, we never saved the game after he was sunk. So when, when you reload a, a game... If a game crashed and you don't, re don't save it... If a ship is damaged while you save a game, it'll spawn the, the ship back undamaged. So we have to try to take him out again. Ah, it's all right. Well, I'm just gonna do this, and yeah, I'll call back in. Holy shit, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think actually that guy is gonna go down from that damage. He is actually going to go down. Did he shoot up a flare? Loss. Los, 
All right, perfect. Let's get out of here now. Let's go back to course. We need a course of about twenty nine degrees. So or it's one two nine, correct? Yeah, one two nine. And the fat lady sings. There you go. There you go. Very good. Alright, that should have actually... That should finish him off now. He should be... He should flood to death. He should flood to death. So, as we are about to leave the entrance of Scava Flow... <laughs> I discovered something. We were super, super lucky when we entered because... Look at these bad boys. Just sitting there, waiting. I mean, the whole area is littered with mines. And I did not realize that the mines was placed this close to the entrance uh, when we entered. So we might as well have just struck a mine. But I get our Jesus wanted something else with us, so yeah. GG. Alright, I'm about to go, um... Dex the wash hair and go full throttle. So, what I need to do now is to go all the way down to Helgoland. Uh, Helgoland is about right there. To refit my ship. And then, I'm gonna go back to the east coast of uh, Great Britain and uh, do some more hunting. All right, boys. We made it. Just surfaced the ship. And we are history. All in all, I'd call this a very good run. Uh, a very, very good run. Successful. And I gotta say, for, for this being the first time for me playing with real navigation, no map updates and stuff, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. This is a good start for a new campaign, I would say. Uh, so my plans right now is to go full speed ahead, get as soon as possible down to Helgolam, and get this ship refitted, and then get back to uh, back to battle. Um, dude, boys, if you like this kind of video, uh, if you like what you see, if this is something worth continuing with, please let me know down in the comment section. and. Man, if you want to come and visit my Twitch channel, with oh. hold on, what do you say? Coastal defense is okay. Um, don't be afraid to come to my, to my Twitch channel where we normally stream World of Warships. It's a very fun fun game, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy. Uh, we'll leave the links down in the comment section. No links below. <laughs> Um, alright, I think I'm gonna break this video up in two parts, because I'm pretty sure it's a long video. Uh, I will be back with another video eventually, I'm not really sure why. Dude, making this video takes a whole lot of time, I promise you. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Uh, alright. Thanks for following, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Peace!